This is photojournalist Stephen Boise with one of the oddest stories you'll ever hear. It's about an American who was possibly the longest serving POW of World War II. But it wasn't a person, instead an alligator from Mississippi. Now before you laugh it off, it's quite a story. The alligator, a brand new hatchling in 1936 in Mississippi, was sold and transported to the Berlin Zoo in West Berlin. Maybe the year 1936 stands out in your memory because that was the year the Summer Olympics were held in Berlin, sometimes called the Hitler Olympics. Writers and journalists were fascinated by the baby reptile, dubbing him Hitler's alligator. Now the alligator, was, who was named Saturn by the Germans, was not Hitler's personal pet. But of course Hitler loved the press attention and uh, as, as, we, as best we know, he actually visited the alligator several times in the zoo and as best we know, liked him. But Saturn's story takes a very sharp turn for the worse. During the war, Berlin was bombed by the Allies nearly 400 times, 363 to be exact, and the Berlin Zoo was not spared. Most of the animals were killed in the attacks. Saturn even escaped but was found roaming the streets around the zoo, most certainly looking for food, and returned to the zoo. Most of the animals were sent to other, more safer zoos, but not Saturn. The American endured every single one of the bombings and the final bloody street-by-street -street fight as the Soviets pushed into the city. After the war, the Berlin Zoo fell into the British occupation zone. When they found Saturn in 1946, and instead of returning him to America, he was handed over to the Soviets as a kind of war prize. He was taken to the Moscow Zoo, where many started calling the American alligator Hitler. And while the staff of the zoo took very good care of Saturn, the people were often cruel to him. They threw bottles at him, and one drunk Russian even threw a very large rock at his head, nearly killing him. The zoo veterinarians said that they believed he suffered from post-traumatic stress and often required a lot of special care and attention. But he eventually became a very popular attraction, and it was clear he would never come home to America. After 75 years as a POW in Moscow, Saturn passed away back in May. He was 84 years old. While I know he was an animal, I still think he should be honored. He endured almost 400 attacks by air, a major land attack, only to be ridiculed by his captors. It's a strange but true story, and a very American one.